Hi, my name is Ramesh Khanna. I'm a senior applications engineer at Texas Instrument. The issue of component selection and PCB design are critical when designing a power system for harsh environment. In order to meet the needs of oil and gas in deeper wells, components must be able to operate at high temperatures. Downhole applications where ambient temperature can be as high as 210 degrees C poses a different set of design constraints. High efficiency and lower losses are critical. Thus, the temperature rise and power losses must be minimized. Buck and Buck boost converter topologies are typically used to meet the requirements due to lower parts count and high efficiency. TPS 5301 HT EVM showcases the point of load solution along with high temperature load dropout regulator. TPS 50301 HT is configured as a buck converter to provide positive output voltage. It's rated for three amps output current and extreme temperature range minus 55 degrees C to 210 degrees C, followed by a high temperature LDO for low noise applications. IC is packaged in a ceramic package. We can also configure the device as a buck boost converter for application that requires negative output voltage. This provides flexibility in selecting output voltage, switching frequency, and compensation components for the feedback loop. The following guidelines should be observed with respect to specification of external components in high temperature application. Magnetic materials must have high Curie temperature, thus using molypermali MPP cores will meet the requirements. Coating on the cores is rated up to 200 degrees C, Thus, high temperature application cores must be covered with a Teflon tape or triple insulated wire. The capacitor selected must be rated to operate at high temperature. Ceramic capacitors are available from a number of vendors such as SMX series from AVX. Through hole versions of capacitors are selected to help with shock and vibration. Tantalum capacitors can provide higher capacitance per unit volume. However, tantalum capacitors must be derated with regards to their voltage rating. For example, a 16 volt capacitor can only be used for up to 5 volts at 200 degrees C application. For the integrated circuit with ceramic package rated at for 210 degrees C, electromigration dictates life of IC. High temperature data sheets highlight the curve of life in hours versus operating temperature. PCB material, FR4, which is flame retardant material, is available for up to 180 degrees C. However, polyamide laminate material is used for higher temperature applications. Polyamide has superior high temperature properties when compared to FR4 material. Polyamide has high glass transition temperature up to 260 degrees C for P95 material. It has lower z-axis coefficient of thermal expansion. This allows higher aspect ratio holes to be plated and processed. The lifetime at high temperature is typically 1,000 hours and can be as low as 200 hours. Lifetime of design at high temperature applications is dictated by life of discrete external components such as wet tantalum capacitors. Solder material used at high temperature is PB85, SB10, SN5, that's 85% lead, 10% antimony, and 5% tin, that is solid at 245 degrees C and liquid at 255 degrees C. Another important consideration at high temperature is solder joint mismatch between components and PCB. The coefficient of thermal expansion between components and PCB is a critical factor that can result in failure at high temperatures. Thermal cycling can result in stress being applied to the, de to the device. IC component leads comprised of cobalt, which is a composition of iron, nickel, cobalt, provides thermal expansion comparable to ceramic. Using gull wing shaped leads provides flexibility to the component, thus extending component life. As I have highlighted earlier, TPS 50301-HT 
which can be used to provide positive output or negative output voltage depending upon whether it's configured as a buck or as a buck boost converter. For, lo for low noise applications, high temperature, minus 55 degrees C to 210 degrees C, LDOs are also available to meet system needs that can provide output current up to half an amp at 210 degrees C. There's one last thing that I want to mention. PSPICE model and Webbench design tools are available to help you with your design. Check out the following link for more information. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.